hospital is also bracing for the possibility of maybe a massive surge of patients. They've postponed a lot of elective procedures to make room in their emergency for emergency room patients. Extra supplies and generators also in place. This is for Utah's Alexander Limon. Now has more from Washington, D.C. on the preparations and response to Hurricane Lane. As Hurricane Lane pounds Hawaii with rain, federal officials say they're as ready as they're going to be. Any assets that were going to be flown into Hawaii prior to the storm have made it there. They are staged and ready to go as soon as it is safe to respond. But FEMA Administrator Brock Long painted a bleak picture of what lies ahead for the Aloha State. The power could go off for quite some time uh, and the infrastructure is going to be heavily impacted. Long says it's the private utility company that will be responsible for restoring power. Not FEMA, not the Army Corps of Engineers. Officials say federal agencies are in Hawaii to fill a different role like providing backup generators until the power is restored and emergency assistance. Experts for temporary power, uh, debris removal, uh, infrastructure assessment. Officials are concerned with flooding on the Big Island and possibly other islands due to the slow movement of the storm. The American Red Cross says 1,500 people stayed in shelters Thursday night, with more than 1,000 of them in shelters near Honolulu. There are also 500 volunteers working for the Red Cross, and the agency says it could use more help. People can find information online at redcross.org. In Washington, Alexandra Limon, News 4 Utah.